I want to farm up like around 100k so I can buy some productive enterprises. Find gold ingot, find spice, find raw silk. Let's hit up this village as well. I just realized I sent Fossil out to do the right to rule quest. So for now, we're going to lose a bunch of trade skill. We got 21k off of that, which probably would have been like 25k with the trade skill. Eric Candace actually brings us up to five trade skills, so it's not that bad. I just found out for doing the duelers quest, we actually picked up eight of these duelers apprentice. They seem like relatively decent units. They have 80 HP, 300 proficiencies, seven power strike. And they all have these one handed Walloon swords, but no shields. Fairly decent equipment, but I don't think their lifespan is going to be too long. I just found the cattle. They follow you for a while, but then they de aggro. I mean, we might as well slaughter them all. The price of beef here is only 47. Ouch. All right, never mind on that. This guy is running from us. He respects our strength. This guy is not running from us though, and he wants to defend this village. Let's see if we can get this one though. There is Ellen Torn Elise here. Exquisite Spice, 12k. Holy crap, Golden God for 3k. I think I'm gonna hold on to that spice until Fossil's back so we can get the maximum price for it. All right, let's raid this village too. Ooh, we got it, and that guy was chasing us too. Fine gold ore, fine velvet, whiskey. Right, we're gonna head back over to Vinica. Apparently it belongs to Elentor now. I decided to put the fine gold ore at the bottom of the party too, because once Fossil's back, that should be an extra like 600 profit. We sold everything, now we're up to 56k. And we're just gonna keep raiding. We're doing a lot of raiding now, because once we start gaining renown, we're not gonna be able to raid any more villages. Oh, that guy caught us. And it looks like they don't get mounts, and we do. My text is not working for some reason, but I think we killed enough, hopefully. We lost the Sunrise Rider, but we can leave. It looks like this guy's getting caught pretty bad. Oh, we got the village pillaged actually. It's weird, like we were still looting. I think it might be you can loot while you're in the vicinity of the village or something. I'm not really sure how that works. And we should probably help this out. We could capture this guy. This is free too, because we can just keep our units back. All right, so we did take all of them out and not only did we lose nothing, but our allies lost nothing as well. And we got this guy prisoner and we got a balanced long arming sword. Some of you guys were wondering in the comments, what difficulty am I playing at? Damage to player and damage to friends is on normal and combat AI and campaign AI is good. Campaign AI means that Lords regen generate their troops faster and I think it makes for a more challenging and interesting late game. All right we're gonna take these cattle back to Vinica and sell everything for 15k and we got to slaughter 34 cattle. The price of beef here is 71 not too bad so after selling all the meat we're at about 76k. As you were traveling you hear rumors from travelers on the road about a mysterious foreign threat called Xan. These men supposedly wield terrifying weapons and have exotic ways of fighting. It is said that their ships will land on Prisno in a month's time and that they have a massive army of over 4,000 elite troops coming. So I've never played this mod for this long and we got a Watch out for these guys. But I have heard people say the Xan invasion is pretty crazy. Oh god, do not want to fight that guy. That's the king. All right, let's head over to this village. Hopefully the king will not follow us over here. And we got a fine gold ingot, some well-made whiskey, exquisite pottery. Let's raid this village as well. And Fossil's back, so we gained some right to rule. We got a large bag of spice, lordly drinking water. So the fine gold ore went up to 5k. I think it only went up like a few hundred. And the exquisite spice is now 12.6. This is gonna be a lot. We got 42k for that. We're gonna head over to Green's Towns and buy some enterprises. And we tracked down some bandits for 2k orms and 4k XP. I don't remember doing that quest. We'll get a Weavering Dowerx for 24k. It will give us 2500 per week. And that was a Lille. Now we're at 4 iron. Weavering Dowerx gives 2850, so we'll buy that. And now we're gonna head back down to Qualtaka and we can buy a productive enterprise down there too. And a wine price down here actually gives more than Weavering Dowerx and it's a lot cheaper. All right, so we got productive enterprises at Qualtaka, 4 iron, Elsinore, and Lille. We also have one at Leuven that's not paying us because we're at war with Red right now. Red's gonna give us 4400 to give them them their lord back. It looks like red's all heading over here to this castle. So we should be good to raid all their villages. One village down and two village down. We got some fine gold ingot, well-made velvet, some well-made whiskey. Hers and star raid are pretty far away from everything else too. Um, except this guy seems like he wants to... Nope. He's not going to chase us. We'll hit up this one first. Oh god, this guy seems like he wants to fight. Or he's just going to run away and let us loot his village. And another large bag of gold ore, some fine velvet. Alright, let's try to hit up this village next. We got a gold ingot, some velvet, some fine whiskey. And we'll head over to Ford and sell everything. And we'll try to build an enterprise over here. We also got to level up a while ago from turning in the bandit quest. And we'll grab another point of prisoner management and leadership. We'll hit up Ford and we'll try to sell everything. And salt is pretty cheap here. So we'll sell everything but the salt for 38k. I ran into some more pilgrims and you only to pay 94 and 40 of them join you but apparently only 28 joined us but that puts us at 109 out of 94 company size so i found the book merchant this book gives plus one intelligence this book gives plus one surgery while it's in the inventory sylvethiel's here i totally forgot about her our party size is extremely full in order to take her we're gonna have to dump off a lot of units i think we'll dump all these duelers apprentice i don't think they're that good she costs 8k she's got seven power draw seven riding eight horse archery eight in trainer and she's level 33 so she'll be training me up and everyone else she starts out with three skill points 
points. I think we'll see our point of writing for now. And we ran into the Mystic Merchant again. But called Champion Plate. That thing's really good, actually. It's only 9.4. Let's pick it up. Full slit helmet for a 4k. Let's pick that up too. The book called Champion Plate was crude, so I believe it loses one on each, but that's not too bad. And the full slit helmet was just a regular mod. And Throck had another skill point. It's odd because I don't think he leveled up. He didn't have any extra attribute points. He just had a free skill point. Does any Prisno pros know why that's happening? He's got 14 power strike now. And as you can see, his old giant plate was pretty bad. 36 body armor, 19 leg armor. And this one's almost double body armor. Five more head armor, 14 more leg armor. And we got to give him this helmet too. He looks like a freaking beast we need to get some giant boots though these boots look really wacky somebody in the comments was saying with these dwarven crossbows you can fire three bolts at a time so we'll test it out these giants plated warlord boots are pretty good 36 leg armor and they're thick 38 leg armor very nice all right we found another black ebony bow it's bent we'll give thrak these boots and he looks way sicker now all right here's another black ebony bow bent again no and we have a book that increases surgery by one and i want to put another point in surgery to get us up to two and since i have two surgery on my main character it gives alandil a plus one bonus whoa that's cool you can fire three times you can use it while you're mounted too you can use it on mount, so I'll give it to Thailand and see what he can do with it. Now we're at Drahara, and we have good relation with their town. A wine press gives us 60 less per week, but it's way cheaper. Marcus got an attribute point and three skill ups. I don't know how that happened. Somebody was saying in prison, though, you just get free skill ups or something. I don't really know how that works exactly. Part of me wants to make Marcus a horse archer and give him power draw, but he has no horse archery. I think I'm going to hold off on giving Marcus points. Alanil got a skill up, and he's at 30 intelligence. And so we get 10 surgery, 10 wound treatment, and Kara's also got a bunch of skill ups. We can give her 8 power draw next level she can have five horse archery and five riding while you're raiding you're waiting a lot so you end up reading we got a fine gold ingot a fine gold ore and a gold ingot some lordly drinking water i wonder what lordly drinking water tastes like let's go to verote we got a fine gold ingot some more lordly drinking water red's really busy with something because they're not trying to stop me from raiding all of their villages fine gold ingot fine gold ore exquisite flax bundle let's hit up Valon, large bag of spice fine spice and it looks like elentor took leuven from red and so now we're getting paid from that die works. So we're gaining 2k per week. Fine gold ingot is 5.3k here. And we have a ton of them. So this is going to be a lot of money. We just got 56k. There's some cattle here too. I don't really want to slaughter them. Price of beef is 80 though. We got 2400. Oh, we might as well just slaughter them all. I sold most of them. We're up to 84k now. Let's head back over to Star Raid and Urs and raid those villages. Here we got Fine Gold Ingot, two Fine Gold Ingots, Masterwork Wool Cloth. I feel like we're almost done with looting villages, and it does suck that I have to do so much looting right now, and I can't really do anything else. I feel like it's taken up a majority of like three episodes just straight up looting villages. We're up to 115k now. But like right now is the only time I can loot villages. If I try to loot them later, it will just tank my renown. This guy's following us. Let's fight him. He's got 118 prisoners. All those prisoner pilgrims that we picked up have now upgraded into zealots. And we have a ton of sunrise riders now. And yeah, personally, I don't feel like the renown penalty is a good solution to looting villages. Because it just makes for this type of gameplay where you can only loot at the start. And since your renown doesn't go negative, I feel like it's kind of a cheap way to abuse the system. But that's just my thoughts on it. And we took those guys out. We didn't lose anything. We got a bunch of prisoners. 70 prisoners part of me feels like this playthrough hasn't even really started yet because of the fact that i'm kind of scared to do anything besides loot villages because when i do stop looting it's go time i'm extremely fast right now even though we have 70 prisoners i have 7.3 movement speed and that's because tamaris gives us 11 pathfinding 13.7 k for those prisoners now we're gonna head back over to some of red's villages and try to loot them a lot of them are looted but nirana and niri are not looted so we'll try to get these and hopefully this will be the end of our looting days and we can finally start grinding up renown three maps you a farmer his face streaked with sweat and body red with blood runs up to your entourage as you are traveling my lord he cries running up to you wait please i beg you hear of what i have to say the farmer takes a moment to catch his breath and then looks at you with desperation foreign invaders have come all dressed in strange armor and wield terrifying weapons escape my lord when you have the chance it is doomsday i have seen them myself they have conquered two castles already and are going to conquer another please run doomsday is upon us with that the farmer runs off into the distance. The Zan dynasty has declared war against Torania and Elentor and everyone. And so apparently some kind of crazy invasion is about to happen. The Zan dynasty took Enduin Castle and it's right here. It's hard to see because it's nighttime. It looks like the Zan dynasty took Ford as well. Zan dynasty had taken Leuven from Elentor. 
Holy crap. This is all happened in like three days, by the way. We found Shi Jin. It's funny because he's actually free. So he's one of the better ones to find early. I don't know why, but we start with five skill points. In my last playthrough, I got him very early and he did not start with five skill points. So I'm guessing it has something to do with as time passes, they get more skill points. Anyways, I'm going to make him into a horse archer. And he already has four horse archery. So I'll just give him five and I'll give him six, seven riding actually. He doesn't start out with a bow though. So we're going to have to find him a nice bow. Bow. His strange greatsword is perfect for a horse archer though. And we'll steal his wakazashi. It's not that good. It's pretty fast, but it's relatively weak otherwise. And we gave him this Gildar and Warhorse. His horse is pretty good. It's really tanky, but the Gildar and Warhorse is just way faster. I found the Mystic Merchant. I think the plan here is just to keep resetting until we find a really good bow modifier. So I found an Elven Elmwood bow. The thing that's good about this bow is it only has an eight power draw requirement and it's slightly worse than the black bow. I got one without a modifier, meaning that we can give it to Ericanus and we give Ericanus. Canis' bow to Shijin. We found another black ebony bow, regular one again, no modifier. Black gothic armor, 70 body armor, 34 leg. I think I will pick it up. That is a lot of body armor. It's battered, so it gets minus two to body and leg armor, but it's still insanely tanky. I'm gonna give it to Marcus. It increases body armor by like 15. Slighter has eight skill points. We're gonna turn him into a horse archer, and I got him up to seven power draw, five horse archery, and three riding. Just gonna put a bunch of points into archery for him, and we need to find him a bow. We'll give the black ebony bow to Tamaris, and Fossil's now at eight power draw and we'll give him the elven elmwood bow and why is his chest piece so bad he must have chosen that over something good all right well it looks like hawksbend soviel and arcross are lootable again so we'll head back over there we'll try to loot them and then come back and see if the mystic merchant is still there we finished reading the essays on logic intelligence increased by one we got a fine gold ingot some well-made whiskey somehow i got an extra point of charisma i don't know how that happened but i'm going to invest this point into leadership and now we have 110 max company size so we can pick up 15 more units and i think that's enough to like raid a castle if something's really raidable with the units i have like i have a lot of high tier archers and pretty good melee as well and it looks like lesbier has actually been taken by the zan dynasty so maybe we should start raiding these villages we don't need essays on logic anymore so we'll sell it along with everything else for about 30k was it so what i just found out is that when you sell it will sell to all the merchants and they're all out of money like this guy is nine this dude is 159 40 and so that's how you're able to sell even if they don't have enough money to buy and so we'll sell the rest off for i don't know but we're up to 64k now and so here's how the map's looking the elves got completely dumpstered on and now the realm of the falcon is also getting completely destroyed as well and i found the mystic merchant again and here's a draharan elephant with 95 charge and 450 hp we're gonna pick it up for sure this is the first time i've ever seen an elephant at the merchant and i usually kind of check mounts but i've probably checked down here about 20 to 30 times and i've never seen elephants so i think it's pretty rare and we'll be buying that and finding out what modifier it got as well as testing it out against the xan invasion in the next episode i'll see you guys then Peace out.